The kneeling Christian said, Answers to prayer, however, do not depend upon our feelings, but upon the trustworthiness of the promiser. This is Daniel White the Third, with the Prayer Motivator Minute here to remind you that there is still great power in prayer to God Almighty. Our Prayer Motivator verse from the Word of God today is Matthew twenty six thirty nine, which reads, And he, Jesus, went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Our prayer motivator quote for today is from George Mueller. Please listen carefully. He said, Formerly, when I arose, I began to pray as soon as possible, but I often spent a quarter of an hour to an hour on my knees struggling to pray while my mind wandered. Now I rarely have this problem, as my heart is nourished by the truth of the word. I am brought into true fellowship with God. I speak to my father and to my friend, although I am unworthy, about the things that he has brought before me in his precious word. Dear friend, before we go, for those who are listening who do not know Jesus Christ is their Savior, the Bible says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you are willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, please pray with me this simple prayer. Heavenly Father, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Until next time, pray, think, do. God bless you.